Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. As always, lovely to spend time with you. Today, I want to show you how to make this fun background. It's such a great background and a really generic one. And this card I thought could be sent for lots of different reasons. You know, don't forget to fly. It could be somebody who's having a bad time and they just want a card to say, you know, we're thinking of you. It could be somebody who's starting a new job. Somebody who's got some exam results recently. You know, lots of things and I love generic cards, but it's really this background I want to show you today. That's going to be our main focus. So I'm going to start with a piece of our multifarious card and this is an A5 piece. But in all honesty, it's just a technique so you can use, you know, you can alter it. it we're into sort of our smaller cards at the minute. So if you want to use a smaller piece of card, by all means do. And I'm just coming in with my Lavinia low tack tape. And I'm just going to create a panel. Now again, I know you're going to say that's nothing new there, Joe. We've created a panel lots of times. But it's what we're going to put in that panel today that's different. So I just want my panel to be that wide. And so that is going to go there. That one wasn't quite long enough, which is why it'll be fine for that piece there. And then what I'm going to do is come in and just put a piece of copy paper there. As always, never have enough room on my desk. I definitely need a bigger desk. And what we're going to do, what you need for this is a piece of acetate. And I'm actually just going to put my acetate on here. And I've got some of our lovely clean colour pens. Now we just need something that's water based for this. So I'm going to use a yellow and I'm going to scribble on my acetate at the top look. Then I'm going to come in and scribble with the orange. And then the red. And then we'll have a little bit of light blue. Now I must admit, I think I've used this a lot. It's, it, I do need another light blue. It's um, not very juicy. So we'll come in with a mid blue and then a nice deep blue at the bottom look. And I'm just putting a little bit of ink on there. And then I'm going to spritz it. And again, I'm going to do this off camera. One, two, three spritzes. That's over the top of Eric, who's happily fast asleep here. And what I'm going to do is just turn this over, look, and pop it on my panel. And I'm going to just... I can leave it if I want, oh, but this is the fun bit and you never get the same thing twice. I like to just manipulate it a bit, but you don't have to. You can just leave it. You can use any colour combination. Now, again, at this stage, you could leave that and let it dry, then take your acetate off. Or I like to play a bit. Look, when you lift the acetate up, you can almost, again, manipulate it and make different patterns. You can go back in move the colour around, lots of things you can do and that's why I put that piece of paper there, look. I'm just going to grab myself a piece of, piece of kitchen roll, just give the acetate a wipe and depending on how much water you add depends on how much movement you have. So it's like everything, I can pick a little bit of that up if I want. I see, look, I saved that. I knew how messy I was going to be. Now, I'm just going to give this a wipe here. Now, for me, I do find that these pieces are best left to dry naturally. And as I say, you can change your colours, but it's just so fun. And again, if you're one of those crafters who your mojo's gone, this is a great background to make. Now, in a good old-fashioned crafty way I've got one here that I made earlier and again like I say same colours but look how different they are now if you're worried about your low tack tape mine's Lavinia I know it's going to come off perfectly but you can use your heat tool just over your tape and it just helps it come off like look at that like butter beautiful 
Now, again, your panel, you could have it landscape or portrait. And this is a really good starting point for a design. But I'm going to come in with our lovely Celestine and I'm going to use my black, my Versafine Claire, the Nocturne, and we're going to stamp her. Not used her for a while and I am trying to use up stamps. I'm trying to be a, a good girl and not use almost favourite ones and also new ones. I love new stamps, but if I'm not careful, I use them all the time. So I've got to be fair on my, you know, like I've told you, these stamps have feelings. I have to be fair to them and I haven't used her for so long. So she was sulking a bit and we can't have that, can we? Fairy sulking. And I've just caught a bit here. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a wipe because I know me and that'll transfer over. We know what our little quirks are like, don't we? I took that long, just need to add a little bit more ink. Now again, she can be anywhere here. So I'm thinking we're just going to have a, a cross. There we go. And silhouette stamps, in, in my opinion, work really well for this. So again, it's a good time to have a look through your stamps. Have a look at your stash. If you're like me, have a look and see, is there a stamp that you haven't used in a while? And we'll just let that ink soak in. And there we go. She's stamped beautifully. So we'll add our sentiment. Don't forget to fly. As I say, this is a lovely generic one. It could be used for so many different occasions. And I'm just going to pop this down here, sort of across there, a little bit in the panel, but coming out of the panel. I like the way that sort of works. And then we'll add a little bit of colour to her wings. So I'm just going to get a piece of, got this lovely white space, so I don't want to get any black marks on it. So I think I'm going to come in with my blues. So I've got a deeper blue here. So I'm just going to add just in here where it will be deeper. And I'm going to come in with a, a mid blue. And I'll write all the numbers and the names of the colours in the, in the comments at the bottom. Do quite a large area with this. And then at the end, I'm just going to come in with my lighter blue. And I'm going to fuzzy this edge, so I'm going to drag some of that darker blue and almost blend with it down to the light. And it will be slightly different shade because we're going on top of obviously the, the ink that's underneath the pen and water. So at first you get that harsh edge look, but as you go back into that deeper blue, you can just drag that colour and fuzzy that edge. So you get a lovely, lovely. And I like that. I love the way. And I think that picks up the blue at the base. So again, that didn't take a lot, did it? So we'll just put the lids back on these. Always good to put your lids straight back. Now to add some colour... I'm going to use my Wink of Stella and I've started doing this. I love to do this and I'm just going to actually colour our lovely fairy with my Wink of Stella just to give her extra sparkle because she is a fairy after all. And on her hands, I'm just going to turn around and just add it all in her hair here, look. And as I say, as this dries, it will get even more sparkly. And then I'm going to add some on the wings. But I'm going to start at the lighter blue and then go into the darker blue, just in case my pen picks up a little bit of the colour. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But just in case, and if it does, you can just... hasn't picked any up anyway, clean it up on your kitchen roll. So I don't know if you can see, but that just adds that most gorgeous sparkle to her. And then I want to, just a little bit of something extra. So I'm going to come in with this lovely um, blue and it's, oh, it's light blue. There we go. Light blue Posca. Treated myself to this one. 
when I go to Lavinia, I try and get an extra Posca each time I go, an extra colour. So I'm just going to add a little bit on the end of all these lovely, but I'm actually going to add some other little dots. So for those of you that don't like splatting with your Posca, we can just add some in other ways, look. If I turn that round, we'll just add a little bit round. A little bit up here. And then here, where we've got these lovely trails, we'll just add, and it helps with the movement. And here, where we've got don't forget to fly, so we can add it on the dots there, and we can just add a little shape going down there. And I just think that, and it just, look, if I bring it up, I just think that's so pretty. And didn't take long, did it? But what a fun background to create. Now, I think you could create that with so many different colours. And we've got so many fabulous stamps that will work really well. So I'd love you to have a go. Please tag me in and let me see. And that way we can share with each other. And look at this one, this one, the water, I've put more water in it, we've got almost like a straight edge. Here, we've got this almost random edge. So whether you're more of a sort of somebody who likes mixed media, you know, and you like these sorts of edges, if you want a straight edge, we could always use your black fine liner and create a black line if you like. Again, so many things. You know, I'm just wetting those crafty juices and, you know, I'd love you to take this and put your own mark on it. But remember, let me know that you've done it so that we can all share. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and a lovely evening. You take care of yourselves. Remember, we all love you. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.